to export a KML from GIS Pro to ArcMap, we start with a project where we have um, features already already set in. And if you click on one of the features, you'll get the um, feature data. So from there, we go back out to the project um, layer, the project index layer, table of contents, whatever you want to call it, and down in the menu system here you'll see an export button. Click that and here we have we're going to export to a KMZ and we want to open in. If we scroll over we want to open in Dropbox and my code and we're just going to save it directly into Dropbox and it's saving and as soon as it finishes saving, we will go over to our ArcGIS. There we go. So in here, we want to, in Arc, ArcMap, we want to use the import from KML tool. Now to find it, it's nice and easy to find it. You can go to Windows tool and hit search, or if your search is already up here, it's over in the tab on the right. Um, again, you can if that if it's not over in the tab, you can go to the Windows menu and click search. So in here, just type in KML, and it'll show you the list of KML tools that you have access to. What we want to do is KML to layer. I'll go ahead and open that up, and go find your KML that you just brought in, or that you just put into your Dropbox, and there it is, Jones and then you choose your output location and you're going to choose the folder not the file so we I've already created a folder called KML JS Pro and we add and then we can give the output data name a output data a name and what I'm just going to leave it as Jones and you can hit OK and once the tool is done you'll get a pop-up. You'll notice it's it's working. It just doesn't give you much of a indication it's working. And it's done. You get a um, notification in the lower right. Mine's off the screen at the uh, off the video screen at the moment. And now we can go add it in. There's our home. Oh, there it is. And the data comes in into a geodatabase and it has the points, polygons, polylines but what makes it nice and easy is it also creates a layer file so what we want to do is bring that layer file in and we're going to zoom to layer and you'll notice there's a polygon that came in that was way off the pro way off the screen on the project but we can zoom into this and you'll notice it actually brought in the symbols as well. So that same gutter that we had, you have a gutter outlet too, and all the symbol information. So that's how you import a KML into ArcMap GIS.